Okay, what's up guys? Welcome back to Days X part 32. In this part, uh, we're gonna hijack a moving train and... No, I'm just kidding. Uh, we wanna go... Uh, we're right outside the hive here, in case you forgot. You wanna take a left and uh, go into slip yourself into an alleyway. Hello, officer. Good evening, sir. Is there anything I can help you with? Uh, you know where I can find some meth? Haha, <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> Fucking stupid. Um, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna take care of some rotten business. And let me just turn that mission objective on. Ooh, here we go. And it's right down here. Whee! How fun would that be to have that? I'll go jumping off of everything. Scare the shit out of people. Um. Yeah, I had a. I'm just gonna go loud here. Fuck this guy. Come on, guys. <laughs> Another one bites the dust. Another one bites the dust. Hey, hey! Oh, shit, come on. Oh! <laughs> Alright, I didn't really take that much damage, but the reason I wanted to do that is because I have a lot of beers. And, uh... There's no time to... There's no time like the present to, you know, get drunk. Especially after just killing a shitload of people. Boom. Oh, yeah. Now we're nice and saucy. That girl is scared shitless, and rightfully so. Alright, we're at 197, it looks like. I can't really tell. My vision's quite blurry in the game. There we go. Oh, yeah. Pocket secretary. Read that when we're drunk. New access code. Can't pick up that machine gun, but we want to. Yeah, I had a lot of alcohol in my inventory. And, uh... We need some room, because we're going to do a lot of looting in the near future. Uh... Might as well put that there. And there as well. Eh, it looks really crappy to me. You know what? Boom, ba doom, boom, boom. Hey, hey, problem solving, right? Anyway, there we go. I still can't pick that up, was it? I think it's... 2 by 4. Or maybe it's 3 by 4. Let's... Yeah, it's 2 by 4 <laughs> There we go. Oh, God. Ah, sober up, Adam. Come on. Get a hold of yourself. Jesus. We got a damsel to save, and you're too slosh to even pick things up off the ground. Where did that other guy's gun go? Am I going... Oh, fuck it. Uh, we're going to open this up, and we're going to release... What's her name? Five, three... Trust me, girl, you want some help right now. <laughs> Especially from this guy. Put the gun away so she doesn't shit herself. Oh. Uh-oh. Who are you? Lightning. Your friend May sent me. She said you were in trouble. Are you hurt? May. Thank God. I know. No, I'm fine. They didn't touch me. Not yet, anyway. <laughs> come, though. How did you find me? I asked around. I can be persuasive. I... I have to get out of here. Are you sure you're okay? Can you leave here on your own? Yes. I... Thank you. Whoever you are, thank you so much. I need to go. I need to get out of this city. I need to get away from that monster, Chan. Tell me. Tell her. Thank you. For everything. I owe her. I owe you both my life. Damn right. All right. So that's done, we can return to May, but we're not going to do that, because we are right next to the Alice Garden Pod. So, why don't we head on in there and uh, get a load of loot, a lot, I mean a lot, and uh, a really good upgrade I've been looking forward to for a while.
Alright, so here we are in the Alice Garden Pards. Pards, pods, whatever. Uh, I don't really think there's anything pretty much here in this initial hallway. I don't want to eat my words, so I'm looking around. These guys are talking. Blah, 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 blah. Some harvesters in here. Don't do any funny business, these guys will pop you. Well, at least they'll try. There's the manager's office. There is, I believe, a thousand bucks in there. We're going to get the access code to his safe and his, uh, and the door because they are both level three. And, um, at least the door is. And, uh, we can find them while we're looting anyway, so it doesn't really matter. And, uh, we're going to get a side mission from Malik in a second. Jensen, I. I was on my way out. What are you doing here, Malik? I told you I got this one. I know. It, I didn't do anything. Trust me. Van Bruggen's all yours. Hang on a second. Something's wrong. What is it? Why are you here? It's nothing. I mean, can't a girl have secrets? Yeah, but... <laughs> teaser. Lecture. Nah, I will be concerned. Of course, but I can tell something's bothering you. And I'm concerned. What's going on? I just... I just had to look into something. For a friend. She... She deserved better. I'm listening. Fine, since you're so damn curious. <laughs> Years ago, I used to live here, remember? My friend, my best friend, Evelyn. She was like a sister to me. Made living here fun. But then, there was an accident. She... She's dead. I'm sorry, Malik. Wait, Jensen, let me finish. All right. I thought I was okay with it, but... I know. I know she didn't just die. She was killed. Murdered. Her damn scumbag boyfriend did it. I know he did. I knew he was trouble right from the start, but she just wouldn't listen to me. Malik, easy. If your friend was murdered, the police would have suspected something. They would have investigated. Come on, Adam. <laughs> there was no investigation. They said she fell down a flight of stairs like it was some kind of freak accident. But her wounds, the way she died, they don't add up. It's right here in the damn blood spatter analysis. Blood spatter? You've seen the police report? Yes. A friend left a copy of it in a pod here for me to pick up. Listen, I know it sounds crazy, but I think... I think there's been a cover-up. I just have to prove it. If I could get my hands on the autopsy report, the one that never surfaced, I know I'd get the truth. Except... Why do I suspect I'm about to get dragged into something? Because you're a Look, sharp Jensen, man, I'm Adam. I'm sorry. I know Van Bruggen is the priority here. And I told you it was my business and I could take care of it. It's just... The more I think about it, the more I realize I'm in over my head. I'm just a pilot. I'm not a damn cop. But I need to know the truth. Let's hear about it. Um... Let's hear about the source, eh? You said you've seen the police report. Who gave it to you? An old friend who was also a good friend of Evelyn's. He used to work for the Shanghai PD. He left a copy of it along with a few other things concerning Evelyn in a pod here for me to look at. He also left some instructions on how to contact someone at Lim for the autopsy report he's convinced was intentionally buried. Why would Lim have anything to do with Evelyn's autopsy report? Well, if you haven't noticed, the Chinese government has been outsourcing branches of its public services for years. Bell Tower polices the streets, and nowadays Lim does more than just cosmetic surgery. They're often contracted for special cases like Evelyn's. And what made Evelyn's case so special, you think? Her boyfriend, Lee. He was at the scene. He had Evelyn's blood on him and tested positive for alcohol and drugs in his system. With his rap sheet, it wasn't looking good for him. But his family, they're on a lot of boards with deep pockets and a lot of reach. They wouldn't suffer the embarrassment of having their son indicted on a suspected murder charge. Strap up, guys. Strap in. This is going to be a long one. Let's hear about the boyfriend, Malik. You sure love to talk. Why do you suspect Evelyn's boyfriend had something to do with her death? Because he was poisoned, right from the start. Born into money and influence, but never once assuming responsibility for anything. I don't think he's worked an honest day in his life. So he was a wealthy, big-headed asshole. If that was reason enough to accuse someone of murder, half the world would be in the pen. No, there's more to it than that. He's known for violent outbursts, domestic altercations. He nearly killed a kid over some stupid gambling feud. The problem is, his family made him untouchable, even to the police. And Evelyn was okay with all of this? She... always tried to see the good in people, give him the benefit of the doubt. You could say that's just being naive or even stupid, but I think she was just... innocent. Let's hear about it, shall we? Uh... She was beautiful. Carefree, love to have a good time. 
I met her during my internship for a private transportation and logistics firm here in Shanghai. She was a great pilot too. Knew how to feel the currents, to push through just so. <laughs> Two better talents for reading the wind didn't translate to reading guys. How so? She was always getting into trouble with the wrong crowds, <sighs> and it always had to do with some boy. She knew I didn't like him. Her boyfriend at the time, Lee. It drove a wedge between us, and when we parted ways, it wasn't amicable. I understand. She was a good girl, Jensen. She deserved better. Ah. <sighs> Well, what are we gonna get for all this? Malik, don't take this the wrong way, but I need some kind of incentive. Take it whatever way you like. <laughs> complications that might arise. I'll see what I can do, but I can't promise anything. Oh well. What do you need me to do, damn it? This autopsy report. Once you got your hands on it, what were you planning on doing next? Oh, uh, well, do you want to answer that? This autopsy report. Once you got your hands on it. What were you planning on doing next? I... I'm not sure. Like I said, I'm a pilot, not a cop. But I just... I felt I had to do something while I had the chance. Maybe once you get the report and we know what it says, we can... improvise. Yeah, this conversation's really glitching me. The first time I tried to record this, it skipped through all her dialogue completely. It was just Adam going, Whoa, calm down. Wait, what? Durka, Durka. Yeah, it was really weird. Um... We're gonna accept it, of course. Okay, I'll help. It's a pretty but fun quest. My lead, he works for Lim. He's a systems technician who apparently has access to their entire database. He's willing to hand over a copy of Evelyn's autopsy report. So you want me to meet him and get the report? Is that it? Yes, but he'll only respond to a certain phrase. Death and life have their determined appointments. <sighs> to which he'll reply, riches and honors depend upon heaven. Christ, Malik, this is starting to sound like something out of a bad spy movie. <laughs> I know. He's just trying to protect himself. I didn't pick the damn quote. So just play along and remember the line, okay? You'll find him inside the lobby of the Lower Hengshaw Lim Clinic. Does this guy have a name? None that I know of. But he apparently goes by the handle Anonymous X. I know, I know. Anonymous X. Okay, anything else? Yeah, before I forget, everything concerning Evelyn's... incident? Newspaper articles, the police report, Lim details, it's all inside pod 009 here in the hotel. Cool. You should read over everything if you can. Pod 9. Got it. I need to go. Contact me with any updates and... Thank you. I really appreciate this, Jensen. Alright guys, so I hope you enjoyed that long-ass speech. I'm gonna end it here, and in the next part we're gonna loot this entire building. It's pretty massive. Uh, we're gonna find the hacker. Uh, we're gonna get some mods. It's gonna be loads of fun. I'm gonna show you how to sneak out of this uh, death hole. Anyway, we'll, we'll get to that. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like, comment, let me know what you think, and subscribe to see more videos.